and welcome back to my channel. All right, so today's video reading is, what do people secretly think about you that they hope you never find out? So what are they thinking that they hope you do not find out, okay? You're going to have three options to choose from, but before I get into which option is which, I want to thank all of you who are subs to this channel thus far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're brand, brand new, hit that sub button as well as bell notification. I do drop videos weekly. Also, I am trying to do uh, collective reads, daily collective reads, you know, I'm going to try to keep up with it. Uh, I'm trying to do daily collective reads. I have a daily collective read uploaded as of today uh for today and tomorrow and then tomorrow i have one for tomorrow and the day after that you know so the energies uh resonate for today and tomorrow so make sure you check that out uh and what else what else what else thank you to all of you all who keep me super booked and busy if you'd like to book a private reading coaching same day rewalk and read or priority reading please check that pink on below as well as the description box below look you all i, I mean like literally you keep me booked and busy, and I'm so happy. Um, also, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and threads at Wandering Sparrow Tarot, and on my YouTube channel at Wandering Sparrow Zoo. All right, without further ado, let's get into, excuse me, without further ado, let's get into your reading. Now, you have three options to choose from here, your options right now. See which of these options you feel resonate with you the absolute most. Uh, don't take a message that's not yours. So don't force it to fit if it's not fitting. Uh, pause this video. See what you need to do, you know, in regards to getting in tune with the reading. And let's jump into it with option number one. Now, y'all know I like the full energy first. So option number one, let's find out what's the current energy surrounding you um, in regards to people and their thoughts, like how they're viewing you. Um, so we're going to find out what is their secret thoughts? What do they secretly think about you that they hope you never find out? And we're going to get some energy as to who, who, who is this person that's secretly thinking about this and don't want you to find out. Uh, so let's get into it. So option number one, what's the current energy around option number one? How are people viewing them? Give me two cards. What's the current energy around option number one? How are people viewing them? Give me two cards. What's the current energy so we have the nine of cups in the reverse nine of cups in the reverse talks about being uncomfortable you know things that may be a bit unwanted so you yourself might be a bit uncomfortable um or it feels like maybe you might be in an environment option number one where you don't really fit in and so the people that are around you aren't viewing you in the most positive light universe spirit guides and ancestors what's current energy so my option number one, how are people doing? Thank you, two cards. What's the current energy surrounding? Me two cards. Current energy surrounding. Option number one, spirit. How are people viewing it? We have the six of cups in the upright. So you can definitely be in an environment of uh, majority peers. That's what I'm getting with that one. Family, friends, long friendships. Uh, for some of you all, uh, because this talks about nostalgic energy in the Six of Cups, this could be maybe you're back into back in an environment that, you know, that you once dwelled in or you're still, you know, maybe you're back in your hometown, you're back in familiar territory. But if you're in familiar territory and that Nine of Cups is reversed, it's talking about, you know, you've outgrown the people around you, <clears throat> excuse me, or you've outgrown your current environment or situation. How do people view option number one? What's the energy surrounding that cup? Spirit, give me one more card. Yeah, Ace of Swords in the upright. This is directness. This is restrictions. You know, restrictiveness comes with the Ace of Swords. Now, it's not a bad type of energy, but it's a very direct energy. It's almost like this, you know, think of it as like a professional energy, you know, like a tolerable energy. So the energy that I feel around you thus far is maybe people more so tolerating you than celebrating you. And I feel like you feel that energy. You might be trying to fit yourself into spaces that you no longer are supposed to reside in. So let's see, what are the secrets uh, that people, what do people currently see? see uh, what do people currently, what do people secretly think about you currently that they don't want you to find out? We have the Page of Swords in the reverse and we have the Four of Wands. Page of Swords in the reverse talks about not having uh, far sight into the future. Um, option number one, 
not having foresight into the future when it comes to the connection with you or their relation to you. Uh, Four of Wands in reverse talks about lack of commitment. So you might feel like an outsider with the current people around you. That's what I'm getting with that one. Um, I don't see you close you know, connections here. I don't feel close friendships here. Or even if it is like, let's say family or people who've known you forever, I don't feel a closeness here. There's a misalignment here, option number one, with you and the persons that I'm picking up energy on. You've outgrown them. Give me more. How do people circuit secretly? What does people circuit secretly think about option number one? Currently, spirit, give me two cards. Do people secretly think we have the sun card in the upright they can see that you're someone who's successful that's what i'm getting with that one but the sun card also talks about you know leo energy so they may feel like your energy is a bit overbearing at times for some of you all you have some people that may view you as a bit condescending that's what i'm getting with that one yeah cherry card in the upright cherry card in the upright um option number one tells me that yeah for whatever reason, people are not wanting to move forward with you. There's this big isolation energy. I feel like you're someone who feels like you're a bit of a lone wolf at times. And this is how people uh, treat you, option one. Universe of their guys and ancestors. Tell me more. Uh, what's, how, what do people currently secretly think about option number one? They don't want them to find out. Give me two more. Do people secretly think? About option number one, we have, yeah, eight of pentacles reverse. So option number one, and then we have the hair font in reverse. Option number one, I don't feel like people around you view you as someone who's not capable, isn't on your game, isn't on your P's and Q's, but they are in misalignment with you. So you might feel underappreciated or not recognized or looked over. These people see your 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 your, your work. They see you know, you know, what it is that you do, what it is that you contribute. But I think it's more so that they don't care because there's a misalignment here. So it's almost like, you know, let's move this person out of the way so we can put somebody else in their place that we get along with. There's clashes here between, you know, your energy and theirs. So I feel like for some of you all, these are people that you work with. So I feel like what they definitely don't want you to know is that they're kind of hoping that you move out of the way. You know, like if this is work, they can't fire you. But it's one of those things where it's like, I hope that she just quits. I hope or he quits, you know, or they quit. I hope that this is their last year here. Um, if this is a relationship, if this is a friendship, I hope that they can see that, you know, I'm not being very friendly to them. You know, so basically, too, this is the energy of cowardness, because these are people who are passive aggressive with you. They're doing through their actions, you know, like, uh, I hope you get the point. But they're not brave enough to tell you to your face. This is not what I want anymore. That's what I'm getting with that. So let's see who's secretly thinking. And that's what they don't want you to find out. That they want you kind of out of the way. Who are these people? Option that are, who is the predominant energy coming up in option number one? Sweetness, very give me two cards. What's the predominant energy? Oh, look, even that. We have a ten of swords in reverse. Uh, definitely associate energy. People that uh, you're either not close to anymore or people that you were you felt close to you thought you were closer to but this is air sign energy aquarius libra gemini but yeah these connections of the people that are most immediate around you it's on the first to do to end let's see yeah nine of pentacles in the upright you got um earth sign energy Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and you have the three of swords in reverse. Uh, yeah, option number one, these are people that are looking to step away from this connection. And here's the thing, there's nothing that you did to do this. You all are just not vibing on the same frequency. That's as simple as, simply as I can put it, um, that, you know, you have to find your tribe of people because this is a misalignment and they don't want you to know that they want you to move out of the way because there's no real reason for them to want this other than them just not favoring you. Option number one. So that's what I have for you all. Let me know how you felt about this in the comment section below. Give this reading a, um, give this, uh, reading a like, comment, share, subscribe. Book a private reading, coaching, send every walk and read, or priority reading. Check that pinned comment below or the description box below you all. Um, and follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Threads at Wineries Pro Tarot. Um, and on my other YouTube channel, Wineries Pro Two. And let's get into our next option. Option number two. So option number two, uh, what do people secretly think about you currently that they hope that you never find out? 
uh, what's the current energy around you. So we're going to take a look at the energy first, and then we're going to find out a little bit more about who in particular is thinking these things, like what's the predominant energy. So let's see. What's the current energy spirit um, surrounding option number two? How are people viewing them? What's the current energy spirit surrounding option number two? How are people viewing them? What's the current energy spirit surrounding option number two? How are people viewing them? Two. We have the world card reversed. Karmic energy is here. We have the king of wands reversed, and we have the ten of cups. You intimidate people. Option number two, that's what I'm saying with that one. You intimidate people. Uh, there's some energy here of people who want to run from you, but at the same time, come closer to you. You intimidate people. And I do feel like there's energy around you where people are kind of in awe, kind of like, how is it that option number two is doing what they're doing? What is their secret? What is their magic? So definitely you have people that think highly of you, but you also make people feel a bit uncomfortable. Um, and it's not because, you know, you're doing something like, you know, weird that's making them feel uncomfortable. It's more so having to do with how you're attacking your own life and your own goals that's making the people around you uncomfortable. So we got another message here. So this is a second, um, this is the second uncomfortability um, energy, but it's not uncomfortability where I feel like you are trying to fit yourself into a space that others are trying to oust you from. This is more so an uncomfortability that you may be picking up on intuitively, but not directly because I feel like you're someone who's very focused on your goals. So let's see what do people secretly think about you. We have the temperance card in the upright. Temperance talks about patience. It talks about grace. So I feel like, and now this may feel, this may be a bit weird because it's like, why would the people um, that are around me, you know, currently, why would they not want to know that? You know, they think think of me in such a high regard, such grace, because once again, going back to the energy, these are people that are intimidated by you. So it's kind of like, you know, in admitting, you know, your power, your stance, your grace, your abilities. They also, too, have to admit to themselves that, ooh, these are things that I'm lacking. Maybe I'm a bit jealous of these things. I definitely do feel some jealousy energies here. Option number two. So let's see. What do people think of option number two what do people secretly think of option two currently spirit that they don't even know two cards what do people currently think of option number two spirit we have the king of cups in the up i told you deep admiration deep admiration these are people that look up to you now here's the thing the reason too why i, I feel like they don't want you to know besides the fact that it's some hater energy here <laughs> hello because why would you not want to encourage somebody is because these are people that are around you that are you know basically i can do it i got this i got this i got this they're putting on these facades or maybe they put they've you know worked up these grand you know uh mask or portrayals of themselves only to you know you come around and you are who you say you are so you might have a lot of people around you option um uh, Number two, that, you know, might be a bit fake or phony. They're not truly representing themselves for real. But here you come. You're actually who you say you are. We have the page of cups in the upright. There's someone's energy around you that's uh, that finds you romantically um, attractive or who might be interested in you as well. So while you have people here that, you know, admire you, you know, and things of that nature, you inspire them. You also have someone here that is crushing on you a bit. So we can get into that. We have the Ace of Cups. You have a lot of love surrounding you, a lot of people that that are looking up to you, but it feels like your peers. It feels like people who can't admit it out loud because for some of you all, these are people who are in, you know, an authoritative role in your life, meaning your management, your boss, whomever. We have the Knight of Soul or the Knight of Wands in reverse. Once again, I'm not going to tell you how I feel, but you will be able to pick up on uh, these persons' uh, energy. Like, I don't feel like they don't want you around because you inspire them to do better. So there's a lot of growth that's going on here. However, though, they are deeply intimidated um, by you and they do not want you to find that out. They want to appear brave. For some of you all, it could be somebody here, um, the person that you're dating, because I definitely feel romantic energy here. They don't want you to know that they're deeply intimidated by you. They don't feel like they really measure up, but they still want the chance. Tell me more. What do people secretly think about option number two that they don't have enough to have to first spirits? What do people secretly think about option number two? Ace of Wands in the reverse. People 
are nervous to approach you, but you're on their mind a lot. You got people here obsessed. They definitely, I wouldn't want nobody to know that if I was obsessed with them. I wouldn't want them to know how much I think about them. And then we have the hermit card in the reverse. You trigger people. So there's karmic energy here. You trigger the people around you, but you trigger them in your greatness. They don't want you to know that they don't feel like they measure up. That's what that is. So let's see, who are these persons? Who's the romantic interest here that's coming out? Very give me two cards. Who's the romantic interest here? Three of Cups in the upright. Definitely someone that you work with or could be a friend. And that's what I'm getting with that one. Um, or someone maybe you were introduced to. Uh, definitely you met this person through some type of third party situation. That's what I'm getting with that one. And then we have the uh, Ten of Wands in the upright. At current two, it could be someone who's maybe in and out of your life, playing a bit of games. You know, there's difficulties. It's like, why is this person running away from me? It's because this person isn't able really to withstand this relationship. They don't feel like they measure up. Who's the person? Who's who are the other predominant energy spirit, the non-romantic? Give me two cards. Who are the other predominant energies? Yeah. You got the Queen of Cups in reverse, and you got the uh six of wands. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Water Sign Energy. Pisces, Scorpio, I want to say Venus, somebody have a Pisces, Scorpio, Venus, Cancer, or Cancer, Venus, and this is Cancer. Yeah, I'm hearing fake people showing fake love straight up to my face. There's a feminine energy that's jealous, once again, but she puts one up aside. This feminine energy puts one up aside. This feminine energy, she or, or he or they put on a facade. They're pretending to be more than what they are. They don't feel like they measure up. This is also someone who maybe drapes themselves in a lot of designer. Um, that's what I'm getting with that one. It's more so, and not saying anything wrong, but no, this person is more so about the flash and the show because this person has deep insecurities that they're not letting on to. And that's how you're triggering them. But that's what I got for you. I'm sure this so you all, please let me know you thought about that in the comment section below. Give this reading a like, comment, share, subscribe, book a private reading, coaching, same day, rewalk, and read priority reading. Uh, see that pink on below as well as the description box below. Help me get to 6,000 subs and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and threads at Wineries Pro Tarot and my other YouTube channel, Wineries Pro Do. Now, let's get into option number three. We're going to find out what's the current energy around you of how people are viewing you. Um, we're also going to find out, uh, yeah, the predominant energy of who is currently thinking these thoughts about you. They don't want you to find out and what people are thinking. So let's see, universe for guys to answer these question messages. What's the current energy surrounding option number three? Give me two cards. What's the current energy surrounding option number three? Give me two cards. What's the current energy surrounding option number three? And help people be more. Give me two cards. Current energy. Ooh. You have the King of Swords reverse, and you have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. Also, you have the Eight of. I forgot to show y'all the uh, energy card that I, that I pulled. Uh, actually, no. Wait, jumping ahead. But the energy, how people are viewing you. There's a lot of trusted energy here. People see you as an authority figure. People see you as very reliable, very trustworthy, um, very committed. You know, I feel like people think of you very highly, but they're not saying it. That's what I'm getting with that one. They're not saying it. So let's see, why are they not telling option number three, how they view them? Give me two cards. Some of these people don't know you. That's what I'm hearing in the energy. So they, they're not saying it because they don't know you to say it. We have the five of swords and the upright. Yeah, some of these people don't know you, but it's like they want to get closer to you. It's like, how do I do this without looking conniving? Universe, spirit guys, we just popped out. Ooh, yeah. Some of these people are keeping their distance now. LOL, I've just heard some of these people are the ops. Um, so some of these people are people maybe that are no longer in your life or you ousted out or they left you or, you know, Whatever happened, they're no longer there. And it's like, oh, uh oh. And they're seeing you in the light that they've always saw you. But now it's like, ooh. So you do got people that's watching you from afar. Um, but even in regards to people that know that they feel that it's best they don't approach, they are still congratulating you. Option number one or option number three. So let's see. Um, what do people secretly think about you? Uh, you got a lot of people here or you got a good number of people here that are still emotionally invested in you. Now, this could be a romantic interest. This could be friendship, family. But it's people that I feel like that are distant in your life that are still emotionally invested. So definitely in this, in this regard, they don't want you to know because what it's showing me is you got people basically that still care. 
Uh, universe, bird, guys, the answers, some put your messages. What do people currently secretly think about you? Number three, that they don't want to know. Three, two cards. What people currently secretly think. You got the devil card. Look. You got people that are obsessed with you. They are currently still attached. This is definitely some romantic energy. Romantic energy or someone that you have ousted out of your life or they ousted you. This person, people who have ghosted, just left. They're still attached. They're still keeping tabs. They still find your energy very attractive, very appealing. They're still trying to, you know, you know, orbit. They're still orbiting. They're still within your energetic space. Two of Swords in reverse. These are people that want to make some type of reconciliation. They don't know how. That Five of Swords is a planning energy. So they're going to figure out how to bridge the gap because it's an energy where I feel like you're not the initiator in this situation. And you probably wouldn't be because of why the, the separation is here. So let's see. Why is the separation here? Spirit, give me two cards. Why is the separation between the persons who's coming up in the energy? And option number three, you need. We got Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, long-standing energy. I'm here, legacy or long-standing beef. There's a strong disconnection, spiritual disconnection, misalignment. Whenever the high priestess is in the reverse, there's a misalignment. Somebody's been run, done wrong. There's a need for atonement. Somebody has to come in correct. Somebody has to be, you know, willing or both parties have to be willing to, you know, have a conversation, take accountability or all parties rather have a, uh, accountability, take responsibility, maybe even apologize. There's a need here to be civil. Judgment card in the reverse. There's unfinished business here, but there's some stubbornness on this, this person or people's energy. So what they don't want you to know is that they care a whole lot. They have not stopped caring. They, you know, feel like, oh my gosh, they feel a little goofy in regards to not having you in their life you know, this person or, or group. However, though, you know, and it definitely feels like different parties here, you know, so not all of these energies are related, you know, or know one another, but definitely these are people that still care that it's like, let go of gold. That's what I'm getting with that one. So let's get some more. What are these people who are coming out? Secretly, they got option number three. They never want them to find out. So basically, it's not the part about them missing you that they don't want you to know. It's the fact that they are wrong. It's like admitting to the fact that I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Or I was wrong. That's what that is. So you got some uh, stubborn energy here. Uh, you got some Aries energy that's coming up. Taurus energy. Maybe even Leo. That's what I'm getting with that one. So we're going to get into that soon. But let's see. Let's get a couple more cards. What do people say? What do you think about option number three? But they don't want them to find out. Yeah. Restrictions, restrictions, lover's card reversed. Uh, yeah, these are people that still hold a flame, that still have deep emotions for you, um, that still care. That's what I'm getting with that one. But their stubbornness is keeping them, you know, kind of restricted and trapped in their own mind about the situation. Negative thoughts are keeping them trapped in their own mind. You know, I definitely feel like there's some mirroring energy between the two of you all. I definitely feel like you served as a mirror for these people and the vice versa. That's what I'm getting with that one. But they don't want you to know how deeply invested they are still in you, how much they miss you. Uh, they don't mind you know, they don't mind you knowing if they do miss you, but how much is what they do mind. And the fact that they know that they have to be the one to bridge the gap. So let's see, who are these persons? Who's the romantic energy that's coming out in this reading spirit? Give me two cards. Who's the romantic energy? You got Gemini and a Virgo coming out in the magician card. Maybe someone who's a bit who was a bit manipulative, someone who did not nurture the connection. Earth sign energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, and um, I keep wanting to say Venus. Maybe this person has a Venus in in one of the Earth signs, Taurus, but Taurus, Capricorn, and um, Virgo. Who's the romantic energy coming out here? Spirit. We have a Scorpio energy here with the death card. Someone who definitely walked away and ended it. Give me more spirit guides and ancestors. Who are the other non romantic energies that's coming up? And just reading from two cards, but two of cups. Someone, this for some of you all, this could be a, a best friend. This is somebody you are in deep partnership with. We have King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is um, 
Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And then we have the Knight of Cups in the upright. Uh, someone who might, you know, be someone who, so who's a bit on the emotional side. That's what I'm getting with that one. You got Cancer, Scorpio, and um, Pisces energy coming out. Someone who's very creative. This person may be an artist of some sort. That's what I'm getting with that one. But definitely this person, I do feel stubbornness in their energy. This person misses you a lot. But this person knows that they have to atone the wrong. But I do feel like it's one of those things where... It's in that energy of, but this is what happened. And I did this because of, so it's one of those things where I don't think these energies are quite ready yet. It, it doesn't mean that it's going to stop them from coming towards you in and now, but I definitely feel like there's some type of to be continued between the, the, the parties involved here with this energy. But that's what I got for you, option number three. So you all, please let me know how you feel about that in the comment section below. Give this reading a like, comment, share, subscribe, book that private reading, coaching, same day, rewalk, and rewalk, create, already reading. Check the comment below as well as the description box below. And I'll be seeing you all on the next one. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Give me to the 6,000 subs, y'all. Um, TikTok, Instagram, threads, Wonders for Tarot, and Wonders for Do. But anyway, thank you all so much. I'll be seeing you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all.